What is up guys? We are back with the Can-Am DS250. As you guys uh, may have seen in the previous videos, if you watch my videos, we were about to remove a red spacer in this carb to make this thing go faster. And we basically got interrupted by uh, that beautiful thing over there, Quadzilla. So, today, uh, it's the next day after I picked up the Quadzilla. I still want to do this because me and my dad are going riding this weekend. And I want to have this thing ready to go for him. So, basically, if you guys didn't listen to my last video, there's a red spacer in this carburetor. Supposedly, from what I hear on forums, I've never seen it in a video on YouTube or anything. So, that's why I'm going to try and make this video and make it helpful for anybody who might own this quad. And because I want this thing to go faster because it's pathetic. So, removing the carb on this thing looks super easy. I'm not even going to remove it, I'm just going to, my plan is to twist it sideways. Ooh, that's hot. Don't touch the exhaust. Um, so, basically, if you guys can see, there's two nuts holding it onto this intake boot right here. And then just this clamp right here. The clamp's not even tight. Wow. So, um, all I have to do is loosen up these bolts and the carb should just spin. I might have to do something about the throttle, I'm not really sure. We'll figure that out when the time comes. Alright guys, so basically what I'm doing right now is moving this screw. Okay. So, basically just uh, I took the throttle cable out of this little holder here and just took the screw out. And here we are. Alright, we got that boot off. Now we can just back this out. And here we are. Let's do this from the other side. Alrighty, so let's take this uh, cap off the carburetor here. And that there is. That, see that red spacer, guys? There she is. So let's see if this thing is uh, holding this quad back here. Alrighty, so this is how that red piece sits in there. Uh, I'm going to try to figure out how I'm going to take this off now. I don't remember how to remove a slide, so I'm going to have to look up a video on that quick. And I'll get right back to you guys. Alrighty guys, so here's that spacer I was talking about. I basically just cut it off because um, I found that a little easier than removing that slide. Alrighty guys, so I'm just going to reinstall the carb. Super straightforward. I hope you guys can figure that out. Um, so it was just this little sucker, as I showed you guys. Let me reinstall this thing, and uh, we'll have this get, uh, this thing up and moving in one minute. Alrighty guys, so we got it all fixed up. Honestly, super easy. Super easy to do. Um, if you can avoid one thing, try avoid avoiding taking off this um, choke assembly right here. Um, that was kind of the biggest pain, was figuring out how exactly that went on there. But uh, now that we got everything figured out, she runs perfect. And we have much more th throttle travel right off the bat. And it's revving much higher, so let's head and see a video on this, so I figured let's do it. It has much better acceleration. The top speed really isn't that better, that much better. But getting there is Should I 
I take it up this hill? I don't really know if I should, you guys. Probably can't tell, but this hill is so steep. This hill is so steep. Me and my dad made it, and it's like really freaking steep. Let's Can-Am DS250, you need to do this mod. 